Asheville, Alabama, 13 and a half acres, be great for a mini farm or that homestead. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's Chad Kemp, your Alabama land agent. We have 13 and a half acres located in Asheville, Alabama. Stay to the end of the video because we've got the restrictions for this property, but you can have a cow and you can have horses. So stay tuned and enjoy this video. This is another unique property located in Asheville, Alabama. It is 13 and a half acres. It's just northeast of Birmingham, so it's about 46 minutes to Birmingham. It's about an hour and 40 minutes to Huntsville. Two hours from Chattanooga and two hours from Atlanta, Georgia. This property, you'll notice immediately when you pull up to the property, it is a flat piece of property. Nine acres of it is going to be in pasture. Four acres of it is going to be in a pine wooded area that's at the back of the property, which is there in the back. You have these really nice oak trees. There's only probably about six trees that's actually in the pasture area. The rest of the trees are at the back. And it actually fronts on two roads, Dolly Farm Road, which is in the direction we were just looking at. And then right behind the pine trees in the back is Highway 231. Now there is an area in the back that you could actually dig upon this would be the area right in here you have a lot of cattails to the property there's a couple things that you that are interesting about the area there is a stockyard you can buy cows you can buy horses you can actually put those on this property and if you stay to the end of the video you're going to see the restrictions we're going to scroll through and you can actually see what you can do to the property and just stay to the end of the video for that also coming up in the video it's going to be some directions to where the co-op and the central feed and seed store is too. Now this is that area. You can see you got cattails here. There are some reeds and you can see water on the ground. And you're going to see in just a moment in the area of shot, you're going to see Asheville High School. You're going to see there's a pond. So this area right through here, um, you could probably dig a pond and it probably would could hold water there. You know, with ponds, they can dry up too, but there's a chance you have a chance there that's a, normally a good sign of that but it's nine acres of pasture with four acres of wooded area you can actually see there's a church there to the right you've got that middle section right above it that is the wooded for the wooded four acres that's available there on 231 you can see Asheville high school there if you look to the left you see the pond it's about a nine acre lake or pond over in that direction right off between county road 26 and 231 so you can go 231 take 26 and then turn left on a stolly farm road this is another view looking towards the school there on highway 231 and this is that wooded area there now that's a, a good section that you could build a house in that wooded area and look out towards your pasture if you wanted to but you do have an area kind of in the middle that you could put a house. Now, this is Central Feed and Seed. This is the place that you can actually buy your feed. You can buy um, seed there. You can buy a lot of agricultural things. The other option is the co-op there in Asheville. They're on 231. They're only just a few minutes away, too, from this property. So you have two options. It's a good um, thing to have, especially if you're thinking about having a few cows and use this as a mini farm if you wanted to, but you can do that. If you stay to the end, in the end of the video, you can actually see the restrictions to this, but what a great opportunity to have a piece of property that's very flat that you actually can actually do something with and fence it off. You could easily fence this off if you wanted to. It's a lot of possibilities. Um, you can see the topo on, on this property. It's very flat. And now in this next clip, we're going to show you this is the aerial in the drone flight path that we use to actually go around this property. And so we're, you know, we're working our way back towards the road now in this area in the video. And that's kind of where we are. We're kind of in the middle. Now we talked about there's only probably six trees in the pasture. This would be the other four or five trees. And then you've got the other two or three over there. So these were the only trees that's in the pasture other than what might be along the property line 
just a very flat piece of property as you can tell buildable area right through here you obviously you got plenty of areas to go in and do a garden if you wanted to you got plenty of area to have an orchard if you wanted to just a lot of potential to this property you just got to get you a tractor and, and and go with it they do cut hay off this property that is why this looks in really good shape because they do cut the hay off the property you know you could continue to do that if you weren't going to use it anytime soon there are people uh, even across the street that have cows that could come over here and cut uh hay if you wanted to that's another possibility but give me a call we'll, we'll be happy to show you the property also these are the restrictions for this property you can have a 1400 square foot home you can have a double wide as long as it's three years or newer there's some setbacks can't live in a tent out here on the property you can actually um, put cows you can put a horse but give me a call we'll be happy to show you this property and again always thanks for watching